After leaving school, I head straight for Ayachi-san's apartment. Once there, I punch in the number of her apartment. Weird. She's not answering. Last time she answered immediately. Oh, wait. Shit. I didn't give her a heads up. Was it really a wise idea to just waltz over to a girl's home? I wanted to see her so bad, the thought just completely slipped my mind. But even so, she's taking unusually long to answer. Maybe she's in some situation where she can't answer? Guess I'll give her a call. I really should have done this before coming. After taking out my phone and dialing her number, I finally hear Ayachi-san's voice on the other side of the phone, only moments later. Hi. Ayachi-san, hey, it's me, Hoshina. Are you alright? The others said you weren't feeling too well and left, so I was worried. Yeah? Well, if it's just that. Complete silence. I guess it really isn't acceptable to just show up at the house of a girl who's living alone and ask to be let in. And on top of that, she's still trying to figure out what she thinks about me. Sorry, I know this was a little too sudden. Hope you feel better then. I'll see you... Huh? Um, c can I? Um, hi. Hi, please. The moment I enter the room, I sense a rich, sweet aroma hanging in the air. I almost ask myself whether it's the scent of something, but I immediately remember this is the smell associated with Ayachi-san's arousal. Seeing that she's still wearing her uniform, maybe she hasn't been able to do the thing yet? Um, have you not settled down yet? If you want, I could leave or come back later. Oh, okay. Something she wants to tell me. It can only be one thing. The whole confirming her feelings things. What else would make her look at me with such a serious expression? So, um, what do you need to tell me? I automatically straighten my posture and turn towards Ayachi-san. Right. ずっと考えてました。星野くんのこと。落ち着いて考えて、ちゃんと自信を持って答えようってずっと。でも、ダメでした。ちょっと無理そうです。答えは出そうにありません。Why not? Tamanokagucha She said something like that. She's normally a pretty easy-going person, but I guess she isn't older than us for nothing. Ayachi-san. She might have been referring to her own love for her family with that. Maybe she's found some sort of emotional compromise or arrived at some conclusion I no longer sense any worry or unease from her. だから、先輩の言う通り、努力し続けるのが一番いいんじゃないかって今は思ってます。Are you saying? Just take a deep breath and calm down. You don't need to rush yourself. 
I was prepared for it to take longer anyway, so you can take all the time you need to tell me. I won't be going anywhere. Until you get out the words you need to tell me. Not until that's over with will I leave. <laughs> she takes a deep breath, then slowly talks on after fixating her gaze on me. Mm-hmm. Of course, I love you too. Oh, there's more. Hoshina-kun,私のことを好きって言ってくれてますが、私には、Hoshina-kun にも言ってないことが、あるんです。そういう部分を後で知って、嫌われちゃうのは嫌なので、先に知っておいてほしくて。What is it? She's talking this up so much that I'm getting scared, or more honestly, nervous. Hold on one second. Fu ha, fu ha. I take two deep breaths, then look back at Ayachi san, ready. Okay, you can go. Tell me this thing about you I don't know. Um, that was it? Look, I already told you I'm not concerned about your involuntary arousal. Heck, we became friends in the first place after I saw you, um, you know, getting frisky with a table in the library. Um, I don't know how to break this to you, but I know that. <laughs> it was more than obvious from what you said this morning. Stop jumping to extremes so much. Just take a deep breath, alright? I've probably said this a million times by now, but something like that won't change the way I feel about you. <laughs> Absolutely. I love you, Ayachi-san. <laughs> I'm deeply and madly in love with you. <laughs> of course I... Um, totally don't think that. I can't tell her that I've secretly been calling her the masturbating master. No, just listen. Even if I thought that, I don't see anything wrong with it. That doesn't make a single difference to me. I'm head over heels for you. Every single thing about you sparkles in my eyes. I know you might not like me saying this, but even your naughty side makes up the Ayachi-san I know and love. I love you. You're the most charming and wonderful girl in existence. <laughs> the Ayachi-san that masturbates. The Ayachi-san that feels embarrassed that she does. And every other side of you. I love them all equally. And even if someday you fulfill your wish and no longer have to masturbate, I'll still love you just as much. I promise you that. Sure, of course. Wait, did you say wet? You are like, wet?
変態な私でも好きって言ってくれますか I love you. That's the one thing I can say with confidence. I love you, Ayachi san. I mean, that's just from your contract. It's not like you get like that normally. Like I just said, I love everything about you, no matter what gets you wet. <laughs> Ayachi san, I love you more than anything. So, I'll ask you again. Will you go out, me? <laughs> Why not? I love you for who you are, Ayachi san. Ayachi san leaps into my arms, her face red as a beet. On second thought, it might be more apt to say she threw herself into my arms. That's how much sheer force she put in it. Ah! Uh, Ayachi san, what are you? Due to the abruptness of it, I wasn't able to support her, thus falling over backwards. I love you just as much. I know I wasn't born a normal person with my ability, but I want to ask you too. Will you please take me as your boyfriend? Me too, but there is no need to rush into anything, so let's just slow down and take a deep breath, okay? I feel her shaking, so I gently stroke her back, trying to help her calm down. But that does no good at all. Huh? しなくんがこの部屋に来る前から私の体はずっと熱いままだったんですよ。今日は一日中暑くてただでさえ普通じゃないのに好きって言われる時々して体温が上がって自分を抑えるのに必死だったんですなのにそんなにたくさん好きって
Oh shit, my mouth is filled up with saliva. Some of it's gonna come dripping out at this rate. I wonder if she's having the same thought. She's desperately overlapping her lips with mine, as if to prevent that from happening. <coughs> Holy hell, something smells wonderful. It's not quite the sweet smell of her arousal. Is it her own natural body odor, perhaps? That addictive smell, coupled with the sensation of her sweet, oh-so-soft lips, causes the strength to leave my body. My mind shuts down. I can't think anymore. But one thing I can tell with certainty. <coughs> this kiss is out of this world. It feels so great. I'm getting horny. I want to feel more. I give in to that urge without resistance and stick my tongue into her mouth. <coughs> Her body jolts for a brief second, but she doesn't pull away. I love you too. Our tongues drenched with saliva and twine. It feels so soft and so hot. Whenever Ayachi-san's tongue stimulates me, it's as though she's running her fingers across every inch of my body. <coughs> Drool spills out from both of our mouths, dirtying our mouths and our chins. It's like the filthy, slopping sound of our kisses echoing directly in my head. It's seriously hot. I don't think my lack of oxygen is the only reason my head is starting to feel fuzzy. But I think I really need some air. Like fast. Mm -mm. <laughs> our lips finally part, but an alluring string of saliva still connects our mouths, as if symbolizing our reluctance to stop. <laughs> Same here. I didn't think kissing could make me feel so hot. That was one heck of a kiss to have as my first. It made me so horny, any nervousness I had was nothing but an afterthought. <laughs> No worries, I didn't mind. Heck, I loved kissing you. Oh, did you not like it? Well, shall we then? Right as I smile at her in embarrassment, she presses her lips against mine once more. But despite all the complaints coming out of her mouth, she can't stop kissing me. She uses her lips to softly bite mine, to latch onto them, lick them, rub them, and suck on them as I suck on hers. We entwine our tongues forcefully, feverishly seeking out the other's saliva. I can keenly smell Ayachi-san from all her sweet, and it's driving me crazy. All her sweet? She gazes at me with raptured eyes, her mind focused on one thing only, indulging in my lips. 
Jesus, she's being so ridiculously aggressive. I can't imagine how shocked people from school would be if they know she could be this sexual. Of course, the involuntary arousal plays a significant role in it, but I want to believe this lust I'm seeing is because she's so crazy for me. That thought only turns me on further. I've already gotten to the point where I can feel my junk pressing up against my pants. I love you. I love you so much. Has it calmed down any? Ayachi-san is acting all bashful with a bright red face. I then confront her with my desire ahead of her. Sorry, Ayachi-san, but can we go all the way? I know it's a big request, but I don't think I can stop myself. Any remaining self-restraint I had in me was killed the second she whispered that in my ear. Ayachi-san. I wrap my arms around her strongly and forcefully pull her into me and continue to kiss her aggressively. And cut. I'll see you in a second. I'll be home soon, don't worry. I was just over at a friend's house and we lost track of time. I know, I'm sorry I didn't call you or anything. I'll make sure to next time. I know, I know. Anyways, bye, Dad. I'll see you in a bit. I hang up and put away my phone. Well, shit, it's already 9 pm. Can't really blame him for being concerned, considering I didn't say anything. Oh, are you awake? No worries. Oh, um, I also made some tea. Sorry for doing that without permission. I don't mind it, but anyways, like I said, sorry for using your teapot. Alright, I can see that. Husband and wife. It'd be embarrassing having something like that pointed out to you. By the way, um, Nene? Well, shit. Let's make the text box more visible. Yeah, it doesn't help that much. I know you told me to call you that, but that was sort of in the heat of the act, so I figured I'd go ahead and double check. Also, um, would you mind calling me by my first name too? Sure. Uh, 
Yeah, it happened pretty suddenly. Me too, Nene. She flashes me a warm smile. Just that smile alone is enough to fill my heart with happy feelings and positivity. By the way, Nene, back to what I was originally trying to say. You're still naked. She darts off to the bathroom in a panic, but before putting on her clothes, she pokes her head out from the doorway to say one thing. Me too. With that, the two of us have finally entered into a relationship. <laughs> <laughs>